Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today's gonna be a really fun video because all we're gonna be doing is pretty much doing a tour and kind of what I'm planning to do today. Before I do, please subscribe, hit the bell and keep on the awesome side button and like this video. Let's go ahead and start this video. Okay, so here's kind of like the main thing of everything. Pretty much we're gonna be kind of checking out some of the lessons, seeing if some needs to be or if just it's ready to be picked. Those look ready. They might even be ready by now. These have looked awesome for days. I might let it sit for maybe another week just to get a little bit bigger. Then I'll probably pick it. Now, for the spinach, it is still growing really slowly. But, how, if to everyone kind of watching this video that has some experience growing spinach in the grow room, should I give it more light? Like, put it on this rack? where it has just a lot more growing area. Should I water it more? Should I water it less? What do you guys think? I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, so uh, over here, we got a ton of uh, butter crunch lettuce. I might move this eventually and just kind of turn on the pots to just let the leaves just get more comfortable and I'll probably water it a little bit more. Um, then down here, we got uh, just kind of Lettuce mix, probably not the best solution for container wise on growing the stuff. It just hasn't seemed to do great, but that's still fine. We got different, we got just more spinach up here, but we planted this at a different time. We got basil right here. We did end up having basil over there in topsoil, but there's a ton of gnats and stuff hatching out of it. So we ended up just getting rid of that. And then we ended up just go ahead and and planted all those and then hopefully we can kind of turn some of that into seasoning um and then down here you're probably wondering what's covered up that cilantro we're kind of letting it still being germinated to be honest i've not looked at it yet today and it looks really good there are a lot of gnats on it like you can kind of see some of them kind of there to everyone watching this video and you guys have a grow room that you grow lots of stuff in what is the best way to kind of prevent or kind of get rid of the gnats? Uh, we've had a lot of problems with just gnats in the room ever since like summer kind of started. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go ahead and go over to the hydroponic systems. There's a lot happening over here from a lot of these plants just not making it anymore. Like these don't look great the roots don't look even the roots look even worse um what's kind of funny is the basil just i don't even know how the basil surviving still it's done great for a long time and the roots look extremely healthy on some of the plants yeah that doesn't look great, very good um that's not making it that's not making it no way that's making it that's not, and pretty much all of them are going to make it except that really good one right there. Maybe this good one, it looks better, but to be honest, it looks like pretty much just really bad. Um, I might just, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I might just end up kind of like throwing like cilantro on these or something. And just, if I'm not going to use the hydroponic systems of it, I'd rather use it as shelves kind of and just like grow stuff on it still maybe two trays on each one just just still growing stuff making use out of the hydroponic systems and then i might move them outside next year or just whatever i think might just be best with moving forward with the hydroponic systems and then yeah so this is gonna be the end of today's video if you guys like these types of videos please subscribe hit the bell notification on awesome stuff when you like this video this is gonna be the end of the video so i really appreciate you guys watching today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow when we post next. Peace.